What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC Fight Night. I believe it's 82 prediction video. It's happening next Sunday. Uh, this is the UFC's first title fight on Fox Sports 1, and they basically put together like a Fox card. It's a good event we got going here. First up, I'm choosing Francisco Trinaldo to beat Ross Pearson. I am choosing um, Travis Brown to beat Matt Mitrion. Uh, Travis Brown, to me, just has more diversity in his toolbox, more tools in his toolbox. He's fought a higher level of competition, and I think he'll be have a better game plan. However, he can get overconfident. Also, sometimes he's too willing to take damage. Matt Mitrione is 37, but he started late, ever improving. We see something new from him every time. So this is not a uh, landslide victory for Travis by any means, but I am choosing Travis Brown. Now, co-main event. I'm super excited for this. We're seeing Anthony Pettis take on Eddie Alvarez. I think this is going to be fire of the night. Just on sheer style matchup alone, Eddie Alvarez has been a champion in every organization he's been in except the UFC, and he just got here, and they threw him to the wolves. He debuted against Donald Cerrone and held his own. Started off with boxing, transitioned into wrestling in high school. He got a partial wrestling uh, scholarship to college, but he didn't take it because his family couldn't afford the wrestling scholarship. So he went right into fighting, basically. Um... He has taken some damage. He's been through some wars, but he's so down to be in even more wars. He's a fun fighter, man. High-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, although he's unbelted, but he holds his own with black belts. He also has several sub submission victories. He is creative and inventive in the ring, spontaneous in the octagon. He's kind of a downhill fighter. Once he gets momentum... It's extremely hard to stop his barrage of offense, and he'll hit you with everything. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. So he's just a fun fighter, and he belongs here. He eked out that win against Gilbert Melendez, despite the fact that he blew his broken nose and both his eyes swell shut. So he's tough and durable. Anthony Pettis, former uh, UFC champion, former WEC champion. Showtime is the perfect name. Such a beautiful fighter. So, um, I was going to say spontaneous, but it's not spontaneity, it's spontaneous at all because he practices those wheel kicks, those cartwheel kicks, those backflips off the cages, which is why he lands them at a much higher rate than anyone else. Those are techniques, y'all. He's a third degree black belt in Taekwondo, y'all. And I believe he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not quite sure. He's very high level, has submission victories as well. These two are going to go at it. These two are going to go at it. I have no idea how to even predict this. I think we're going to see everything because they both can go standing up on the ground, dirty boxing. We're going to see some spontaneous stuff here. Both of them are going to take risks. It could go all three rounds because they're both used to fighting five-round fights, so the cardio is not a problem. I, this is so hard to call because I think someone's going to get caught. That's what I think is going to happen here. I think someone's going to get caught. Caught with a good punch, and then someone's able to finish him or knock him out there. Uh, caught making a mistake and get submitted. Someone's going to get caught in an instant. And I have no idea who it's going to be. Anthony Pettis, of course, has been plagued with injuries his entire career, coming off yet another one. Coming off also the worst loss of his career. So where's his mental state going to be? Because RDA whooped his butt and snatched his belt away. So I'm calling it for Anthony Pettis. But I don't know. Let me just make that clear. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Main event. I'm super excited for this. We have the UFC, I'm about to call him featherweight champion, bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw, taking on Dominic Cruz, former UFC bantamweight champion, who was stripped of his belt. He never lost. And in fact, Dom has only lost one time in his career. He hasn't he only fought like one time in the last five years because he knee injury after knee injury, then the other knee, and then again another knee. Ankle knee. <laughs> and it's the way he trains. It's so frustrating because if you've seen Dominic Cruz, especially before the injury started, he is a beautiful fighter. We are about to see incredible movement. Some of the most beautiful displays of artistry and MMA that we've ever seen. That's what we're about to see. I'm pretty confident of this because the movement here, first TJ, wrestler first, developed a striking, very quick, very deceptive, deceptively quick, uh, as gliding techniques, gliding footwork, uh, gliding body movement. He rolls like a snake, rolls around his opponents, changes levels with his movement, low center of gravity, rolls with the punches, snake-like movement. It's, re it's really nice. Um, Dominant crew is more of a bouncy movement, more more like a rabbit. I'm not using the whole snake rabbit analogy either. That's just the only way I can describe it. More like a rabbit bouncy, 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 jerky type of movement. But there's grace to it. 
It's also a dance, just a frantic dance. He will be quicker than T.J. Dillashaw. T.J. Dillashaw has not fought anyone anywhere near the caliber of Dominic Cruz, even on, at 60%, which is what he said he was at in his last fight where he dominated in the first round. I can't wait for this. I don't know who's going to win this because we don't know what condition Dominic Cruz is going to be in with all of those injuries. But I, and I will say, Dominic Cruz is already in TJ Dillashaw's head. He's been talking trash since TJ was at Alpha Male. The moment he got the title, Dom's been in his head on social media and in person. You got to check out their last little interview there. He's in his head. It's clear. He's in his head. And he's right. You've never fought anyone his, his level, his quickness, his proficiency, his striking proficiently, his techniques. I'm not talking about just his movement, his striking, the, 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 the combinations. He's going to be hit with seven, eight, nine uh, punch combinations like he throws. This is going to be a battle and it's going to be beautiful. And since I've gone with the safe bet on all my previous picks, I'm taking a risk and I'm calling it. For Dominic Cruz. All right, let me move on. All right, let me know your uh, picks. Let me know any injury updates. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where I have exclusive prediction videos like I did Poirier Duffy, y'all. You got to follow me there to get those. And since we only have four fights on this card, I will most likely do it again. My 15-second uh, predictions come out the day before, the day of the fight. The uh, recaps come out the day after. So follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, subscribe, like, talk to me, take care, and goodbye.